Here we have a 30 kilogram child running at three meters per second. Jumps into a 40 kilograms sled. Initially at rest on a horizontal frictionless sheet of ice. So the child running And then this is stationary, and then the child jumps here. Find the speed of the child sled system. So we have to see this as a collision, a collision between the child and the sled. So if the child has mass m1 and velocity v1, the sled mass m2, velocity v2, which is zero. It's initially at rest. After the collision, they're moving with a new velocity, which is v prime. Now the child is, the child and the sled are one system now, they are together, and they move with velocity v prime. So this is an inelastic collision, that is, they, they stick together. So the momentum before collision is m1 v1 plus m2 v2, which is zero because v2 is zero. This is equal to the momentum after collision, which is m1 plus m2 v prime. So this means that v prime is m1 v1 over m1 plus m2. m1 is 30 kilograms, and v1 is three meters per second divided by M1 plus M2, which is 30 plus 40 kilograms. So this is 90 over 70. So that's nine over seven, which is one point, about 1.3 meters per second. So this is the velocity of the child sled system. Now, a short while later, so now they move with this velocity, the child jumps off, jumps off the sled in such a way that she is at rest with respect to the ice. find the speed after the child jumps off. Again, it's a conservation of momentum. We have to begin with, in the first situation, they're moving with velocity 1.3 meters per second. What happens then the child is at rest and the slid is moving with some new velocity V let's call it Vs now velocity of the sled. So the total momentum before the child jumps off the sled is m1 plus m2, the total mass. So this is p before the child jumps of the sled 
it's just equal to m1 plus m2 times the velocity of the sled, which we call it here v prime, the velocity of the of the child's sled system. So this is m1 plus m2 is 70, and the v prime is just 9 over 7. So this is 90 kilograms meter second. P after the child jumps off the sled, the child is at rest with respect to the eyes. So only the sled is moving. So it's m of the sled, m2, times the velocity of the sled, vs. So it's 40 kilograms times vs. The momentum before must equal the momentum after. So I get 40 vs equals 90 kilograms meter per second, which means that vs now is 90 over 40, so it's 9 over 4, which is 2.25 meters per second. So after the ch child jumps, the, the sled moves with a velocity of 2.25 meters per second. Essentially, what happened here, when you look at it, from uh, a certain perspective, the child was running to begin with, the sled was stationary. At the end, the child is stationary, the sled is moving. So what happened is that the child simply transferred her momentum to the sled. 